2016 because there was a ministry that we have seen launched, and it's our prison ministry. Amen. Monday nights, Tuesday nights, Wednesday nights, discipleship at, uh, at Kimber and also at, at Porter County uh, Jail. We're there now. And then on Friday nights, we just have a church service down in Kimber, uh, the, the uh, work release program there. And so I thank God for that. And there's people who call, that are here that are called to be in the prison ministry. For Jesus said it was one of the things that he judged us by when we would stand before him. Some guy was in prison and you didn't see me. And so there is, we want to continue to grow there also in 2017. Another thing, and, and I think we're done with the interview, is a church only continues to grow. I'm going to use an example. I'm going to share something. Uh, our oldest son, Sam, and his wife, Kate, uh, they just had a new baby, and they've been tied down with their new baby. And so yesterday, uh, Grandma, uh, she went to their house in Crown Point and babysit. And it's New Year's Eve, and so they're going out to get something to eat. So the first restaurant they went to, um, it was closed, and it was going to open back up. Uh, later that evening. So they went to another place. They got there and it was a two hour and 45 minute wait. And so they said, we're not going there. They went to another place. They never did in Crown Point. They went inside there and they said the youngest person that they saw in there was probably 85. <laughs> they said that they were using magnifying glasses, honestly. Magnifying glasses to read the, uh, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The menu. 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 To read the menu. And they took pictures. And um, when they sent it to my phone, I texted them back. And I said, Mom, I really appreciate you checking out the nursing homes uh, for her and I when they get older. <laughs> now, what do we know? If that would be the only clientele that that restaurant reaches, there would come a day when that restaurant would what? Close. They're going to close. They're going to close. As a church, we must cast vision that says, what do we do to reach the young families? Amen. Amen? Amen. What do we do to reach the young adults? What do we do to reach the families that have the little children who are going to become your ministers and they're going to be your servants in the church? If you don't start now, if we don't start now, then we'll come to a place where we'll say, oh, I wish we had. So we must take a very aggressive look at what type of church do we need to be to be able to reach young adults, to reach young families. Now, there's several ways that happens. Number one, you've got to have a great children's ministry. Amen. Am I right? Amen. You've got to have a great children's ministry. When a family visits your church and has children, they do two things. There's two places they check first. They check the bathrooms. Amen. And they check the nursery. If those two things are good, the preacher can be half-baked and they'll stay. Because you're taking care of their children, of what they've invested in. So a, a challenge we have in 2017 is our greatest challenge in ministry is getting children's workers to be committed. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. We've got to step up South Lake Worship Center. We've got to not just plan for today, but we must look towards the future. Another thing that has to happen, and, and we, uh, there will be shift and change. There will be shift and change in music. There will be shift and change in approach. There will be some things that maybe you don't like, and guess what? When Disciple was here, I came not because it was my greatest music. That my wife, she was in love. She posted on Facebook, finally at 61 years old, I got to go to my first rock concert. That's what she said. I stood there with my, no, I had cotton balls in my ears. I looked over to her, she didn't have her cotton balls in her ear. I said, what's wrong with you? She said, this is loud. There, there comes a time when what is being offered isn't about me anymore. Amen. Can I say it again? Amen. There comes a time when what is being offered is not about me anymore, but it's about the harvest, and it's about the future, and it's about a legacy that we will leave. So 
I, I just would encourage us that we're going to be challenged in 2017. But at the same time, I feel like it's going to be the greatest ride that I've had in 62 plus years. Amen. God's going to do something. I want to end with a uh, passage of scripture, and then we're going to finish with communion. Amen. And then we're going to pray and let you go home. But I pray today that what has been shared uh, as Pastor Lex says, we have done a co-interview, that you will, uh, that you will allow God to kind of uh, marinate what has been said today in this gathering. Is that your